What point, what is that imaginary line if the, the play is out of play? There's another strikeout as Leahy goes down on the changeup on a low ball at the knees on the inside corner, two down. You can see that uh, Corey and Chad are on the same page tonight. Uh, you don't see Corey shaking Chad off. It's like they're back 10, 15 years ago playing uh, catch in their backyard. Oh, Kevin Schoenfeld will step in, the center fielder. He struck out his first at bat. Second time around here as the top of the order comes up for Canada. And Costello in control right now. That pitch high. Starts him off with a ball. There's a definite uh, velocity distinction here between uh, Costello and Smith. Uh, Costello seems to be throwing a lot harder than Smith, and traditionally they would be around the same speed. Good snap there as that one goes in for a strike at the belt, one on one. That pitch a little bit tight and it gets back to the screen, two on one. Let's just talk a little bit about lighting here. This is, uh, you've played here a lot. How did you, like, there are lots of diamonds and some have better lighting than others. How would you compare Mixburgs? Would say Mixburgs, there's definitely some dark spots uh, out in left field. You can see th th there's some dark spots out there. Um, right field, if you get past uh, the the dugout, to just to the right off there, there's a dark spot there also. Uh, when the ball gets up above the lights, it's very hard to pick up coming down. I always used to like the diamond at Riverside Park in Pembroke. The yeah. lighting was very good there. Um, but uh, get used to the lighting, and it's definitely uh, a home team advantage. Two, two balls, one strike, and there is a hard fastball right at the knees on the outside corner to even it up at two and two. Oh, Costello really bringing some heat here as we play the third inning, looking for his strikeout, and he gets it. He strikes out the side for the second time tonight. He pulls them down, and we uh, go to the bottom of the third, and Mixburg holding on to that 4 nothing lead. I shouldn't say holding on. In control with a 4 nothing lead, and Corey Costello throwing BBs here tonight in game four of this series. Again, two games to one, Canada leading in a best of five. Everyone from Mixburg and area has seen Costello dominate games before, and when he gets in a zone, if you're a batter, you'd, you'd swear you're hitting, trying to hit a pellet coming in. It's, it's very hard to do, and uh, he can dominate there on the pitching rubber. Uh, Trevor Leahy is going to come in to pitch now for Jason Smith, so Kanata will have an early hook on Smith. He just never looked comfortable from the first pitch tonight, and this really uh, sets up a, an interesting sidebar story now. <laughs> What happens tomorrow night if this score holds and they go to game five, then who do you go to? Well, I say by uh, the Pirates bringing in Leahy now, they're not giving up on this game. That's telling the Twins, you know what, hey, we're in it. We have a chance to win this yet. We're going to throw our next best at you, and we're going to go from there. I, I think the Twins at this point have to keep Costello in there. they got to play for the win at this point. If need be, go with Graham tomorrow night and then go back with Costello if Graham gets in trouble. Um, it's going to be very interesting. I think I'll be making a trip to Stittsville. Well, I think I might want to jump in that car with you because uh, this is getting more interesting all the time here as the lefty, and, and again, we've seen Leahy pitch before. He's, uh, he's the kind of guy that's going to throw you a lot of junk, sneaky fast because of all of those changes of speed. And in pass pitch, you can see him working the mound there and kind of getting comfortable with it. He'll get five pitches to start the inning to warm up. And he's been throwing a bit, I think, out uh, on the outside of the diamond in that last at bat for the Kanata Pirates. It, it's always harder to pick up a change up out of a left-hand pitcher. And uh, Leahy has great command, either throwing his change up very high and letting it drop down into the strike zone or throwing it low and let it drop out of the strike zone. So the Mixburg hitters are going to have to make some adjustments here. Uh, Costello will sit back in the box, read the changeup. I don't think you'll see too many changeups to him. Mick can also read a changeup well. A guy like Kyle Jackson, great hands. He might pick up on it. In saying that, though, the other night here, we seen uh, Mr. Leahy kind of keep the Mixburg batters on their front foot. Well, the, the interesting part I think about this is if you're Mixburg, 
you want to you want to have some success against Leahy. You want to get into both pitchers' minds going into Game Five tomorrow night. If Leahy comes in here and shuts down the Twins, and then they come back and throw them at them again tomorrow night, that really it's the whole psychology of the game. You know how it works. Yes, definitely. And if Leahy has success with them here tonight, they have to come back with them tomorrow night. And like you I said, agree. And throw the off speed at them, throw them the cheese, and see if they bite. Well, Humphreys will step in. He was hit by a pitch by Smith in the first inning, and he gets the ball on the outside, and that's one of those ones that got stuck up in the screen as it was fouled off, and as everybody looks up top, they can't get it down yet. This was always entertaining. There it is. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of things happen where guys throw baseball bats, and then you get one or two bats stuck up there, and then you get a delay until some young fella decides to climb the backstop and always entertaining. Two strikes here on Humphreys as Leahy comes after him. His first batter he's facing tonight. Yes, the umpires used to throw, try to throw balls up to get them out there and then you'd have two or three stuck up there. Mr. Leahy there looks like his command is right on. We're just where he left off from the last time we've seen him. Yeah, good pitch there. Rising fastball, three pitches and he disposes of Humphreys with the strikeout. Kyle Jackson will step in. He had a big hit in the first inning. To drive in a run. This will give us a good idea where Mr. Leahy's at. Kyle Jackson has great hands as a hitter. Not much movement in the lower body, but he has great hands and usually makes contact with the ball. He takes a strike there as we look at the formation. Third baseman in a little bit tight. Just in case, keep him honest on a bunt. And Jackson cut on and missed there for a pair of strikes. First baseman Tony McDonald too playing the line. He doesn't want anything to get by him on the line there so it could turn into a double. 0-2 pitch. And that one is swung on and missed. So a pair of strikeouts here for Leahy. Leahy pitched the first game of this series, a game that Corey Costello was not available to the Twins. And Leahy racked up a 10-0 win as he had lots of offensive support. They brought him back in game two. That was the game that Mixburg won. But he pitched very well. But he was just outpitched by Corey Costello. And then Canada went back to Smith for game three. And here in game four, Mixburg knocks Smith out early and Leahy in here to kind of shut the door in inning number three. 